Hello and welcome to this learning path focused on the AWS SysOps Administrator Associate Certification. My name is Stuart Scott and I am the AWS Content Lead for Cloud Academy and I have created this learning path which is packed full of technical courses, hands-on labs and assessments to ensure you have a solid understanding across all domains. The aim of this certification is to validate your knowledge across a number of different key areas which have been defined by AWS as being able to deploy, manage and operate scalable, highly available and fault tolerant systems, implement and control the flow of data to and from AWS, select the appropriate AWS service based on compute, data or security requirements, identify appropriate use of AWS operational best practices, estimate AWS usage costs and identify operational cost control mechanisms, and finally, migrate on-premises workloads to AWS. As a means of demonstrating this knowledge, you will be tested across seven different domains within the certification, with each domain contributing to a percentage of your overall score. Domain 1, Monitoring and Reporting, which is 22%. Domain 2, High Availability, at 8%. Domain 3, Deployment and Provisioning, at 14%. Domain 4, Storage and Data Management, at 12%. Domain 5, Security and Compliance at 18%. Domain 6, Networking, 14%. And finally, Domain 7, Automation and Optimization, which is at 12%. Each of these domains can be broken down into defined areas of knowledge. Let's take a look at each domain. Domain 1, Monitoring and Reporting. This domain contributes the highest percentage of marks towards your end score in your exam, and so requires additional attention. It concentrates on your ability of being able to implement the correct monitoring, reporting and alerting solutions to enable you to successfully manage your resources performance and availability while identifying any potential issues. Domain 2, High Availability. Questions in this domain will examine your ability to architect and implement solutions that are highly available and resilient across a range of different services within different scenarios. Having a clear understanding of high availability and the AWS global infrastructure will help within this domain. Domain three, deployment and provisioning. This domain focuses on and highlights the main knowledge requirements you'll be required to demonstrate when deploying and provisioning a range of different services and features within your solutions. You will need to show an understanding of prerequisites and processes to resource deployment. Domain four, storage and data management. This domain will test your awareness and ability to retain, protect and manage data that is being stored within AWS. You must show working knowledge of a variety of different methods to maintain data. Domain five, security and compliance. This domain is all about being able to demonstrate your awareness of security controls that allow you to control access to resources through a variety of policies, controls and authentication mechanisms. This will be tested from both a single AWS account and cross account perspective. Domain six, networking. This domain focuses heavily on the virtual private cloud service, VPC, and all the networking components that are linked with the service. I recommend you gain some hands-on experience creating a number of different VPCs using our hands-on labs to help familiarize you with the service. Domain seven, automation and optimization. This final domain will assess your ability to optimize your AWS resources from both a cost and performance perspective. You must also demonstrate your level of understanding of automation methods when it comes to managing and controlling your infrastructure. Okay, so that's the exam details covered as to what's required from a knowledge perspective. So what is involved within the learning path? The learning path has been created in such a way that for each domain covered, there is a number of technical courses and hands-on labs, which will provide you with all the information you need to become prepared to master each domain control point discussed. In total, there are over 30 courses and 30 labs, providing you with all the knowledge and practical experience to help you prepare for this certification. At the end of the learning path, there is a mock exam simulation to highlight any weak areas that may need further attention and study. I recommend you review some of the AWS white papers when you've completed your learning path to help solidify your understanding of the services, features and methodologies. This is one of the three associate level certifications available with AWS, and it's guided to those with a systems administrator or operations role background. Now we have a clear understanding of what is required, let's get started with the training.